Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. Welcome back to the show. We are excited to have Rebecca here joining us, the founder and curator of Cultured Society. Rebecca joins us here and is going to share the powerful intention behind Cultured Society, of course, and how it supports people in breaking free from limiting beliefs and achieving their fullest potential. Welcome to the show today. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you so much. I absolutely love this time that we have together, even though it's a very short time, but it's such a great opportunity for us to exchange beautiful words and to also extend the love and circulate the energy that we are curating here at Cultured Society. So thank you so much for having me. It's such an honor. You are welcome. As the website says, which is aculturedsociety.com, continue to focus on thoughts of unity, peace, and all that truly brings us together. Now for today, uh, I know we're going to focus um, here a little bit on something called mind mastery. So how can cultivating a positive mindset and practicing self-belief and embracing personal development really help individuals overcome challenges and therefore unlock their full potential in life? Would you mind telling us a little bit about this and, of course, providing some practical strategies for our listeners so they can start mastering their own minds? Thank you, Rebecca. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, we are definitely firm believers in that we are the co-creators of our own lives. And it does start by mastering self and mastering the belief that we have the ability to change at any given moment. And what inspired this cultured society platform in the first place was, first and foremost, uh, my name is Rebecca Munoz, and I have had such an incredible experience here on planet Earth, uh, maneuvering through the life challenges that we encounter throughout our human journey. And planet Earth is not always the easiest to maneuver through as we encounter many obstacles and challenges throughout our lives. And I want to start off actually by reading you a poem that I wrote a few years ago. If you have an opportunity to explore the Cultured Society website and just the different platforms that we've created here through Instagram, through Facebook, through YouTube, you will find several pieces of relatable content that are going to help you inspire yourself to make changes day in and day out, and to also learn the importance of self-mastery. So I want to talk a little bit about the change and how oftentimes we resist change, even though it's something that we're experiencing every second of every day. And so it is often said that change is the only constant in life, yet we are predisposed to resist change because of the risks associated with it. Despite the drawbacks, discomforts, and resistance to change, it is extremely necessary for exponential growth. Today, I am possessed by an infinite and powerful spirit of belief and love for change. I recognize that if I'm not changing, I am not living. What does not kill me empowers me to push myself to accomplish greater feats and ascend to higher peaks. I have the power to control the outcome of my overall life. Every day I choose to release my excuses and invite freedom into my existence. I live free from mental restrictions that block me from fulfilling my dreams and life purpose. I am aware that self-care is a divine responsibility and that I control the, o- the outcome of my overall well-being. Today, I'm grateful for the day I decided to take control and create the field on which I play with. I am grateful for the holistic health practices that have healed my mind, body, and spirit. These practices have given me the level of self-awareness I needed to drive consistent change in my life. It all started with a decision, a decision to become a better version of myself. And as far as I'm concerned, the change, transformation, and growth has just begun. I am on the hunt for the one that I have not yet become. And that quote or that that little poem was inspired by my own physical, mental, and spiritual transformation. And this platform was created to inspire those that come across this journey or this this, uh, desire to change themselves 
to know that it all starts with a decision. And our mental restrictions often come from the experiences that we have throughout our lifetime. But at any given moment, regardless of where you come from, you have the ability to change if you just have a desire and you also uh, develop the practical tools that you can use on a day-by-day -day basis to change the outcome of your circumstances. Beautifully said. Wow. You have um, a way with words, but you are clearly <laughs> uh, passionate about what you do. And wow. Is there any more, you know, strategies that you want to share with our listeners? And before we head over to talking more about the body? Yeah, absolutely. So I'm, you'll notice on the platforms that I've created, because essentially all of these platforms were created by by myself. Um, it was really inspired by my own journey and the career paths that I took throughout throughout my life. And I was really inspired from a very young age by philosophers that came before us that were writing very powerful literature that were evoking these thought processes that would change the circumstances of our life. And one of the, the philosophers that I was really inspired by as I was going through this transformation journey was Lao Tzu. He was a Chinese philosopher that always wrote about mastering, that mastery was a strength. Well, mastery of others was a strength, but mastering yourself is a true power. Mm -hmm. And so I, rem I remember when I read that quote and started to marinate on those words, I realized that Aww. we have more power, more power and control than we think we do. It's just that oftentimes we're, I don't like to use the word manipulated, but we are often manipulated by external sources and also what we are learning from, from societal constructs. And so when you take yourself out of those societal constructs and you take your own path and you realize that you do have more control than you think you do, you have the ability to develop these practices. And for myself and something that I utilize in this program that I've created through a culture to society.com is the importance of developing the mastery of meditation. Meditation allows you to go inward and to allow yourself to use that inner strength and power to change your circumstances by evoking or developing practices, daily practices that will, again, change your mind, body, and spirit. I don't know if you had an opportunity, Jill, to see the transformation photos that I sent you of myself. You are, well, how old are you? Just curious. Yeah, I'm 39. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, you look so young. I mean, I'll give you that much. You really have uh, a youthful glow about you. And I don't know if you, what, did you lose weight? Did you diet? Was it mindset that, you know, you look like you got, I don't know from the four afters, though, which how old you were in the other pictures, The because there was like six and one, I think, yeah, right? Yeah, so yeah. So uh, what was the age difference here? I mean, I know the hair color changed, but yeah. it looks like you lost weight. It looks like you gained um, years. Um, you subtracted years is what I'm trying to yes. say. <laughs> yes. So the, that six-part series was yes. from 21, from 21 to 36. And then- what? And yes. And, and then the other one was from 27 to 38. So it was a year prior to, to today. But so the 12 year journey started when I was 27 or the transformation journey really started when I was 27. And you can imagine that from 21 to 27, there was a lot of changes that happened. I mean, I will tell you oh. that I mean, people people don't even realize like how much people go through when they go through a transformation journey, at least when you make a decision to go through that. I've experienced a lot of abuse, mental, spiritual, yeah. emotional, physical, um, and also, you know, just a lot of changes throughout my life and also learning these concepts of biohacking. I, I teach a lot about that in the course that I've created is the the concept that we have the ability to change at a cellular level when we give ourselves what our body needs, because our body is a self-regulating organism. And mm -hmm. we don't even, you know, we haven't been taught that throughout traditional schooling. Yeah. You almost have to go on your own journey to recognize that. 
Go ahead. Uh, can you share your screen with us and pull up those photos? Is that something you'd be interested in doing? Did you want to or? Um, I, let me see if I, I, I pulled them up. Hold on a second. I think it would be very important for people to see that because um, <laughs> it's a uh, it's it's a drastic change that uh, that I've experienced. But let me see. You know what? I don't have access to sharing the screen. Oh, you don't? I always, it should be right now. It, there should be, there's no limitation. I usually ask my Zoom Zoomers to share their screen a lot. So. Oh, got it. Okay. Is that okay yeah. with you? Yeah. Ah, yes, there we, now, now, okay. This is the six part series again. I didn't, there was no time frame on it. I didn't understand. So explain now from here. This was 2021. So 2000 and two, I graduated in 2003. So 21. So I was 21 there. So oh, you were 21. Was, I'm like, got it, got it, got it, got it. Yeah. So the one with the hat, I was 21. And then um, the one here, right here where I have the bangs. I was living in Los Angeles. I was 23. Uh, this right here with the brown light, light brown hair, I was 27. Um, I was 30, 30 right here with the blonde. I was living in Lawrence, Kansas. Uh, I had really started this transformation journey and being very intentional right where I'm wearing this hat. I started doing what's called intermittent nutritional mm -hmm. fasting. And that's when I started learning very, um, I started learning a lot of practical tools on how to change my cellular structure at that point. And so it's been about an eight year progression where I have literally removed allergies from my body. I've released, um, I mean, I used to get shingles outbreaks all the time. I used to have hormonal imbalances. Wow. I was highly stressed. I was very anxious. Uh, and I had a very difficult time releasing the weight and keeping it off. So total, I released about 50 pounds. But the biggest thing that I've noticed, what, and, and you see it from 27 to 38, is the inflammation. And also, I was I was struggling a lot with my mental health and also with my physical like self-concept. I, I struggled a lot because I gained weight at a very young age. And so I got bullied a lot. I mean, you know how people are. They they really focus more so on your external body than they do learning about your heart and your mind and your soul, right? So it's it was difficult throughout my lifetime because I dealt with a lot of projections from people. And so it took my it took a lot of courage to me to for me to embark on this journey because I realized that um, this whole journey that we have on planet Earth it it is very individual and it is very personal but we are a part of a collective consciousness right so everybody it's like this domino effect that we have on people so we do impact people whether we think we do we, we whether we think we yeah. are or we're not right and so. With what I wanted to focus more so on creating this platform is teaching people the concept of multicultural diversity because we are filled with a, a human race that is so unique and so different from each and every one of us, but at the same time, we contribute to each other. And so I created this platform to be able to expose the differences that we have throughout humanity, but to also show you that you have the ability yeah. to change your life, to change the direction of your life, regardless of where you come from, regardless of what that narrative was that you've lived with your entire life, you have the ability to change that by incorporating these transformation tools that are going to change the direction of your life as a whole. And that could even change the external expression of you. I mean, it's very, I mean, it reveals to people through my transformation journey that it's, it's very possible and it's possible to do it without having uh, surgical procedures because everything that I've done has been through natural, through natural modalities. Got it. Well, beautiful work. By the way, tell us how we can contact you and then we'll continue. Yes, absolutely. So you can uh, you can reach me at www.aculturedsociety.com. And also all the social media platforms are public. So you have the ability to reach out to me through there, through Cultured Society on Instagram. And then we are also on YouTube, as well as on three different platforms of Facebook.
Got it. Well, thank you so much. Uh, let's continue the conversation. Obviously, we're here talking about these transformations and um, the work you're doing. And now, of course, I lost my notes. I did have notes before, and I cannot <laughs> find them. So uh, where are we supposed to head next? Would you mind just... No, it's okay. Me? Don't worry about it. Don't worry. I'm like pushing on the keyboard. No, no. It's okay. Body, yeah. mind, the spiritual connection. Thank you. Yes, absolutely. So we are... As, as a physical body, you know, it's oftentimes very difficult to separate our mind, our mental and our spiritual body. And it's not even about religious practices or, you know, being a part of any specific denomination. We as a human being, our are a holistic expression. We are a mind, body, and spiritual connection. So what this program offers you is the opportunity to really dive deep within yourself and to to recognize that every single day that you are alive, you have the ability to change your life by your attitude, by your self-expression, by your self-concept, and by the practices that you are incorporating every single day. So body wellness is so important. You know, I used to work in the fashion industry, and I worked with a lot of models. And it's interesting because you would think that models considering that you know the way that they're displayed that they would have this very high self-concept of themselves but it's actually uh opposite of that and so you know body wellness it comes from within it's something that starts with the decisions that you make every single day and how you think about yourself right but our mind is actually regulated by okay. everything that you're being fueled by. So I teach people the concept of fueling your body with the nourishment that it needs in order for it to thrive. And so I teach you the importance of making wise decisions on how you're fueling your body, what types of foods you're fueling your body with, and how that affects the way that you think on a day-by-day -day basis. And then we also use a lot of powerful tools when it comes to scripting. Um, you know, I'm sure you're familiar with affirmations. But affirmations don't really work unless you're changing the vibration of your body and your body vibration changes by your environment. It is how you're fueling your how you're fueling yourself, how you feel about yourself, how you think about yourself. It's all synergistically connected. Right. And so a lot of what we work on in this 12 week series on this 12 week series is teaching your teaching you how to find these practical tools with um with body regulation um and obviously i can't i can't um monitor your blood work and your your allergic reactions to things so it's really important that you um you know work with a practitioner in your town because i i do work with people virtually so i do get to connect with people do you know throughout different parts of the country yeah. um but what what I do do is I work with you very closely to make wiser decisions, especially when it comes to how you feel about yourself as you're going through the transformation process, because the feeling is a secret. And mm -hmm. another wise philosopher told me, um, showed or shared this with me. I, I, I don't know if you're familiar with Neville Goddard, but Neville Goddard was one of my favorite philosophers, which his work is still alive. But uh, a manifestation tool that he emphasized on was feeling as though you are in the end result. And that's really what helped me continue on with my transformation journey is I had a vision of how I wanted to look, but it 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 became, you know, it became more spiritual during the journey than it did become physical. And then my physical expression uh, it manifested into what was ex what I was experiencing internally. So a lot of what we work on is mindset practices, mindset shifting, really looking at yourself from a different perspective so that you can see yourself in the end result, even yeah. when you feel like nothing is changing. All right. Well, thank you for that. We still have 10 minutes left in the show. Just want to make sure everybody's aware. Uh, we're talking to uh, Rebecca from Cultured Society. By the way, I don't think I ever said your your last name, but it's Rebecca Munoz, just in case you're curious, the founder and curator. Um, go to a culturedsociety.com. Check her out on Facebook as well, Instagram, YouTube. Uh, she has it all. And, um, you know, you, how would you describe, well, kind of like, 
um, the transformation process. You mentioned it lies in holistic nature, right? And achieving this balance, what does that do to the mind, to the body, to the soul? And what impact does it have on us today? Yeah, so nurturing the spiritual self is essential for finding inner peace. And and I remember I remember hearing this in one of my yoga classes. This was years ago because I started yoga over 10 years ago. And I remember the yoga instructor saying that peace begins with me. That was a an, an intention or an affirmation that we would start with before we started the class. And that really, that stuck with me for many years to come because I realized, again, that I was the co-creator of the experiences that I was having. And if I could shift my perspective, I could change the way that I was looking at the experiences that I was having. And so, you know, taking the time for self-reflection is very important because we live in such a superficial three-dimensional world, right? And we're so driven by external forces. And sometimes, and I will say that 2020 was probably the year that forced people into going inward because they had no choice that we, we couldn't go anywhere, right? And so it did give people an opportunity to sit with themselves, but it was also very difficult for people to do that because we're not accustomed to it in the world that we're living in today. It's we're living in such a fast paced world. And so we're not taught that, you know, that that peace and that joy and that fulfillment and that you know, purpose driven life that we're seeking externally, it's it begins with the way that we live on a day by day basis. And so I always emphasize the importance of self reflection, meditation, prayer, but in a way that you are speaking to your higher self in the kindest way possible. It's a it's an inner dialogue. It's a conversation that you're having with whomever, whatever you you um believe your your God to be. For me, I believe in God and I believe that God resides within me. And so therefore I am having that inner dialogue and that conversation that allows me to be still, to be more present, to make the shifts that I need to make on a day by day by day by day basis to fulfill to fulfill my own divine purpose. And so the more that we do that individually and as a collective, it changes the frequency and the vibration of the planet. It's literally like a domino effect. I mean, I'm having conversations with people in so many different areas of life. And the moment that we shift the inner dialogue together, it's it's like it shifts the way that we maneuver through our days. And so we truly have, we oftentimes don't realize how much of an impact individually we have, especially when we change our own narrative. And when we help other people change their own narrative, regardless of what they've gone through, um, because fortunately, or fortunately, I've had an opportunity to work with people that were in the midst of taking their own lives. And just from a a shift in perspective of the, what experience that they were having, they didn't go through with it. You know, so it, it's it's so valuable to be able to have these conversations and to recognize that, again, you have more control than you think you do. If you just shift the way that that inner dialogue that you're having, it's like a light switch. You know, and so um, and that that goes into everything that we do every single day. It keeps us a lot more organized. It keeps us a lot more in tune with our own inner inner guidance. Uh, and it helps us make the necessary changes with our diet, our, our mental diet, our spiritual diet, our uh, our food diet. It all makes a difference in the way that we our body functions every second of the day. I get it. All right. And uh, in our last few minutes here together, I know we still have some more to talk about. And, um, you know, how did you want to, I guess, um, leave off as far as the final message and advice for those today? Yeah, absolutely. Well, the beauty of, of transformation lies in holistic nature. Again, synergizing your mind, body and spirit. And when you master your mind, body, and spiritual self, you create a harmonious balance that radiates throughout every aspect of your well-being. Your God-given fearlessness drives your desire to break generational curses and chains that keep yeah. you bound 
day in and day out, and you become a force to be reckoned with. And, you know, this is what a cultured society is all about. It's teaching you the tools, the practical tools and methods that you can use every single day to be able to drive change in your own life, which again, it's happening second by second. But if you're not resistant to it, and you allow yourself to flow through the change and make the necessary changes within yourself, it gives you an opportunity to not only see yourself from a different vantage point, but it also gives you an opportunity to embrace life and this journey that we are maneuvering through on planet Earth with a lot more ease and grace. It opens up the possibilities for yourself. And I invite you to explore the Cultured Society uh, platforms because there you will find so much inspiration as to what is possible for you and what's happening throughout so many lives that we are working with um, on this platform to express to you what's also possible for you. Mm -hmm. Perfect. All right. And if someone wants to reach out to you, let's, uh, if you don't mind sharing how we could do so. Absolutely. They can reach me at www.aculturedsociety.com as well on our Instagram platforms, YouTube and Facebook. And if you are going to reach out to me through those platforms, just know that it's going to be me that will be connecting with you. Uh, So, you know, we have an opportunity to create a connection And I also offer a complimentary session for you if you are interested in one-on-one coaching. I am so grateful and honored that you are willing to embark on this journey with us. Oh, thank you so much. Pleasure having you back here, Rebecca Munoz. And we look forward to the next time we connect. And I hope my voice will sound better. I'm glad you did most (laughs) of the talking today. (laughs) Thank you. I appreciate you and feel better and sending you lots of love and blessings. (laughs) Thank you so much. Same to you. Have a great day. We appreciate it. Thank you to all of our listeners. Please stay tuned. We'll be right back with more. Are you looking for even more of the podcasts and hosts that you love? The Podcast Business News Network is proud to announce that you now have even more ways to listen live. Check out the MyTuner Radio, Online Radio Box, and Simple Radio apps on iOS and Android, or find us online. Search for Business News Network on MyTuner-Radio.com, or search Podcast Business News Network on Streama.com and OnlineRadioBox.com slash US. Take your podcast on the go, and don't miss a minute of the action. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's... It's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage free, fully adaptive, handicap accessible house, and there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit hfotusa.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's. It's going to be okay.